obsession with film noir and Star Trek. <laughs> And Elmo. <laughs> okay, now I'd like to introduce to you Barry the Best Man, who's going to say a few words about the uber stylish Shannon. So Shannon and I were roommates second year at Carlton, and right away I knew he was from another plane. He could always find the best in any person. Always. Don't. Even sitting in Heckham's right. high dusty oh. lectures. <laughs> Shannon could find Don't you the dare wisdom, do this. wealth, and even wonder. Latin is Is this part not. of your plan, showing up here like this? <laughs> Nobody really expected Second you to come or even wanted you to. I know. Drinking and dancing and dating. Why do you have to make your big show about how hard this is for you? To make sure everybody knows how you feel about your son and what he's doing? Yeah. <laughs> then in the middle of that snowstorm shitstorm of third year, Shannon sat me down and talked to me about a puppy he found on his doorstep. Uh, he was scared of what you'd say. <laughs> to him. About him, at him. Oh yeah, that's right. Because I'm the big bad bastard and you're the perfect innocent protector. Just back the hell off, okay? I flew all the way from Calgary for him. What? For him to what? Dodge whatever shit you start throwing around? He invited me to Alexandre's first photography show at Jan's gallery. Yes, and I saw it. Life, passion, purpose. The depth of their love was obvious, and not only by the pictures of Shannon that were plastered on all of the walls, but, you know, in the light and the energy that they created, that they shared together. This is real life. Now, His the life. Years of their life together have been burnt into all he of does not need your permission, approval, or and all over their Facebook pages and their Vimeo photo dump frog bucket. I don't even know what accounts, but more importantly, into our hearts and into our lives. So do us all a favor. And do what you do best. Stand here and, and Alexandre. You drown in your own piss. And if I see you going to the near visit, I will call the police. I mean it. You know, Shan tells me you're an engineer, but it's pretty obvious you are a poet at heart. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, 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 oh. My heart, my beating heart. If only I was 12 years younger. <laughs> Anyway, uh, oh, and about those fried fashion shows, I have videotape of Shannon from high school when he was uh, performing oh. his Ricky Martini, if anybody wants to see that. Yeah, to see that. <laughs> okay, folks, look, before we get to all the dancing and the partying, I know that Shannon is chomping at the bit to wrap things up with a few words of his own. So, Shannon. Well, as you know, I'm not one for taking the spotlight or flowery talk, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, seriously, how about a big thank you to Rick and the Foolish Chicken for a fantastic dinner, and uh, to Natalie for her wicked, and I do mean wicked, cheesecake. Um, I want to thank my Auntie Liz, not only for being our DJ and our MC, but uh, for really representing. I know if uh, my mom and dad were here to see this, well... Dad would just play the same two Irish jigs he played at every wedding. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I want to thank Sin and the Bear Bear and Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Mr. Taché and Mrs. Taché for stuff, too. Look at that, I'm a PA in English and I'm all out of words. Um, <laughs> I, I want to thank you for being a part of our day, uh, for, for standing up with us on something that's so important. You know, you've given us courage to stand up to even more. And, uh, Oh, and to Karen and Dave for bringing your kids. I mean, that's so cool that they could just be a part of this and accept this and celebrate and accept. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to add another thank you to my sister, Bridget. Um, she made all those flowers along the path. And I the beautiful the pieces Tashi out uh, family outside the family It's my doorway. responsibility thank to you. stand up there and say something. <laughs> I'm
I'm John. Alex's father. When Alex called me and said he was about getting married, and he said, Shannon, Alex has not been very good at knowing what's good for him, for his life. I remember one year he forgot what day his birthday was. All he wanted was a stupid camera. That's all he would talk about. It had to be flashy this and special attachments that. And his mother broke down and gave it to him. And the first damn day, you go and leave it on the bus. Or when you called me to say you wanted to come out and live with me out in Calgary. Look, maybe I'm not the kind of father you needed when you're going through your your problems. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you two will find some happiness somewhere in this world. I hope you do. Well, if I don't get the music started, then Shannon's going to be up dancing on the table for no reason. I forgive you for everything. Everything, no strings attached. <sighs> No expectations, no bad feelings, no poison. You don't have to say anything. I forgive you. I took a photograph out, hot us up, blew our baby flash, smiling. Yeah, I know it's me, but it's been a while since I've grinned. I start to get upset Thinking how we already met And how I've ended it too soon I ended it For some people watching this film, the wedding reception kiss between Shannon and Alexandre will be the passionate kiss that affects the character John. Fine. But, because John took one little step not to destroy the occasion, Alexandre took a bigger step in calling a truce. My hope is that some of our audience will feel that when John passionately kisses his son with strong and uncontrollable emotion, that is what really, truly, deeply affects Alexandre to really, truly, deeply forgive him. <laughs>